All right, we want to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashrim Yahweh Shah, Barak Akwadash. We want to give double honor to the Apostle GMS that rose well. Peace, blessings, salutations to Yaakim, Yaakov Trinan, that has faith, striving, waiting patiently, and uh, being vigilant and striving. And again, you know, just you know, just hoping, waiting, and being patient. Uh, this is Shukwa Karab from uh, GMS Virginia. And uh, what inspired me to do this lesson is uh, having the opportunity to work in the inner city. We had a project today in between two of them. You know, I happened to see a Morris, Morris Science Temple. <laughs> And um, kind of funny because you have, uh, you know, Sonetta, you know, a lot of these other people was coming up with their false philosophies, their gods, and so forth. And, uh, <sighs> you know, um, so, you know, right in between, you know, the, those two project areas with Jake, you know. Jake is there. He in Richmond. Um, um, we got um, you know, Creighton and, uh, and Fairfield, and then you have a a, a Morris Science Temple. And the no, well, the in plan now is to tear down Creighton and I believe Fairfield as well. And um, you know, my thing is, what did that Morris Temple? do for Jake you know um, while I was parked waiting to get loaded um, there was just trainees running all around you know uh, bugged out Jake's well pretty much women you know masculine women you know just kids you know just running around and the, you know the few men that I you know, happened to see would just like look like old drunks. So what did um that moral science temple do? Then happen then it happened I mean nothing too, you know, uh the those houses are boarded all up. So then, you know, I we pretty much worked on the the, the face front of the Fairfield and um, you know, just Jake, you know, able bodies, young men, um. You know, you always see Jake with blacks on their ears and between their ears and, or cigarettes and you know niggas just standing around the front talking about nothing. So my point was, and the thing about it, when you look at the building, the building was nice, it had a nice old gate around it. Um. You know, you know, I, that I, I said to myself, we're riding past, you know, um, shocky, shocky. you know, I passed in the building. I was like, yo, why, why, you know, if this is any divine significant, um, you know, entity or thing that was beneficial to our people, why well, doesn't need a gate? You know, here it is, you know, the Lord tells you, you know, it's nothing that you can pretty much, it's nothing you can do to Yahweh. You know, that's what it's good to say, who has counseled. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, who has counseled? Who has counseled? The Lord from spelling it right. Let me see. Let me see if this is, I'm not sure, Jeremiah 20, what is it, 20, Shalaki, Jeremiah 23, hold on, oh, no, that's not it, um, Let me see, hold on. The apocalypse it might be in, in the apocrypha. Damn, I 
I can't find it. Pretty much is roughly paraphrasing. Pretty much uh the scripture goes into who has ever pretty much uh counseled the Lord or pretty much uh told him told him he was wrong or so forth, roughly paraphrasing. Let me say given to us the rest were blinded. We'll start off with that. So it says uh Romans eleven and seven, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Now, let me see. Acts for the E R the temple. So first Corinthians three sixteen, because one thing, you know, so that's what Sonetta doesn't understand. This is not of you know, there's no official, is no no more physical temple. Because going back to, um, damn, Titus and Vespasian in 70 AD, that's when the last of our temple were, was erected. And through those, um, you know, those men of the Romans, they destroyed our temple and, and sacked our temple. You know, you had three major Jewish wars that led him to the, the devastation of uh, Vespasian uh, and Titus destroying our temple. And ever since then, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the truth, um, starting with our elders, um, Abba Bivens, and so, and, and, and down, the apostles of GMS on down, you know, we, you know, the spirit is, has been revealed, not revealed, but pretty much you know, give it to us and we hold the spirit and this truth and this understanding, this knowledge, this wisdom in our bodies because our body is the temple. First Corinthians three sixteen, it said, Know ye know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy, for the temple of Yahweh is holy. Which temple we are. So that's why, you know, a lot of these people don't understand it because it was given to us and the rest were blinded, you know, Sonetta and so forth. He doesn't understand that. This, this, the spirit is in us, is dealing with us, and not no more of a building. You can't set this thing up and, you know, here it is. This is my office and this is the, the hotline. No, this, it doesn't work like that. You know, it, it, the spirit is in you. That's why the Lord tells us. How we ought to carry ourselves and mortify ourselves and walk with discipline and in, in, in order and no and no judgment, which the world doesn't. Um was it any more let me see spirit. Let me see, does not dwell. So it says, um, oh, okay. Acts 7 40, howbeit the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. As saith the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye, will ye build me? Said the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? So that's what's, um, make, make body living sacrifice. And the slack, you just uh, pretty much is doing this. Hold on. Like Romans 12 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Now, um, and again, going back to these people don't understand. Let me see some spirit dwelleth. There's another one, spirit dwelleth. I think it's another. Uh, and I always, I always forget these scriptures. Um, hold on.
So let me see. Um. So the verse four, so Romans eight and four, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For they that, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the sp things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. One thing I can say about all other denominations. All, or other philosophies and doctrines that is not of Yah Bashan Rasha pretty much just lead us back into the loving of uh, Babylon and it has no prophecy. So, so it never forewarned anything. It never forewarned of uh, what's to come. It's pretty much just made you, you know, focus and pin, you know, um, change your certain things about yourself, but you're still carnal as hell. You got a little sense. You learned a little bit of things on pretty much how to maneuver more, a little bit smoother in Babylon. But the thing about it is pretty much leads you into loving this place and then pretty much just being carnal, being um, not spiritual at all. Just pretty much trying to get things and make money. Because pretty much money money is the God of this, um, of this world. So, um, you know... And the thing about it, you know, driving past that moral science temple, and the shit looked dead, you know, it looked like nothing, nothing. And like I said, it still was nice, and it still was, uh, you know, had a nice gate around it. You know, maybe, you know, today wasn't the day, whatever, but at the end of the day, that shit just looked dead. It's, it's just, clean. It, you know, again, the, the, the building was clean as hell. Then when you look at, you know, the projects, it was just dirty as hell through Jake trannies and all that and so forth but it says uh you know the morris and again that temple you would think that uh would have got jake together you know it would be um doing things for jake and it would have helped it but shit they you know esau was like yo fuck this i'm destroying this shit and getting you niggas out of here you know it's already in motion so it says uh for the, for to be carnally mind carnally mind is death but to be spiritually mind is life and peace he said, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So then that, so, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So if so, be it that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shah, he is none of his. So there you go. Um, going back to what I had, so it says, uh, this is going back into, the, this is talking about that temple, because again, these philosophy and these doctrine doesn't forewarn or do anything is not beneficial to our people, because uh, again, just look at, man, you know, we, we just been, ever since the apostles came on the scene and on to now, shit has been shaking and changing um, against Sirach 17, but like I said, these, these you know, Christianity has kept Catholicism, Moors, um, Kemet, Egypt, all that shit has been here. It has not done another, not a motherfucking thing. And you can, when you look at these old jakes, and I was just looking at these old ass jakes, man, niggas in wheelchairs, niggas at the round, they just all around the corner store. It's, it's, it's one o'clock, 12, 11 o'clock in, in, in the afternoon. These niggas just, just walk, just standing around the fucking corner stores, man. I'm like, what the fuck is these niggas doing? These niggas are able bodies, man. Old niggas that just look like they was into that Moorish and, Egypt and, and, and just bugged out, man. It it is he saw it was nothing of took effect. It was still some old nigger shit. Didn't benefit nobody. And hey, they went back into the world. They was pretty much went back into becoming drunks. Led astray. So it says, uh Oh, let me see. I'm gonna start off. This is the letter of the epistle of Jeremiah. Uh, Sulaki. Damn. So whereby they are not are known not to be gods, therefore fear them not. Um I'm sorry, verse 18. <laughs> Cause it, this is what you know, soon again, as soon as I saw that building, I was like, yo, this shit reminded me of this scripture. 
And it said, as, and as the doors are made sure on every side, him that offendeth the king as be, being committed to suffer death. Even so, the priests make fast their temples with doors, with locks and bars, lest their gods be spoiled with robbers. They light them candles, yet more than for themselves, whereof they cannot see one. They are, at, they are as one of the beams of the temple, yet they say their hearts are gnawed upon by things creeping out of the earth. And when they eat them in their clothes, they feel it not. Their faces are black through the smoke that cometh out of the temple. And that's again, you know, that shit was clean as hell. And I'm pretty sure you had, uh, probably had Jake's that come by and clean the building and so forth. Upon their bodies and heads hit bats. Well, I'm going to jump down. Well, yeah, birds and cats and all. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure at night you probably have cats and shit and birds. They probably shit on the building. Cats that probably shit the dogs or whatever. Anything that really just comes on the property, it just it just does what it does does what it wants. It says, "By this ye may know that they are no gods. Therefore, fear them not." Let me see. Notwithstanding the gold that is about them to make them beautiful, except they wipe off the rust, they will not shine. For neither when they were molten did they feel it. The things wherein there is no breath are bought, are bought for a most high price. So it said, They are born upon shoulders having no feet, whereby they declare to men that they be nothing worth. They also that serve them are ashamed, for if they fall to the ground at any time, they cannot rise up again by themselves. Neither is one set them aright, can they move of themselves, neither. If they be bowed down, can they make themselves straight? But they set gifts before them as unto dead men. So, the point is, uh, you know, here it is, that building was probably, probably one of the nicest things around the area. And um, they had a, a, a gate around it. And I was like, oh, well, if, you know, if this is so divine and, um, intervention and so forth why they couldn't just be like the rest of the property you know with no fucking gate around it you know but that's just it's just to show you man this you know we are winning you know the ones that's in this truth we had nothing to worry about at the end of the day you know um everything is being made manifest and the lord is pretty much showing and exposing everything and you know the lord is you know slowly but surely Showing that he's the power overall, you know, the power that created all things. And the power that loveth his people Israel. But um, with that, you know, say Shalom, Lord's will, you know, edify.